What is thermodynamics? Why did humans invent it? What problems were they trying to solve? What did they observe in the world around them? What are its applications today? What are its approaches? How does it work? Thermodynamics. What does it mean? We have thermo, we have dynamics. We know these come originally from the Greek language. Let's look at thermo. Let's look at dynamics and let's put them together and make thermodynamics. Let's start with thermo. Where does that show up in our language? We have thermometer, which has something to do with the, the, the body temperature or other type of temperature. We have a, a thermos, which is an object we use to try to uh, keep a liquid cold or keep a soup hot. It's an object that tries to uh, uh, stop a temperature change. Um, we have thermal underwear in the winter. If, uh, if we get cold, again, the body is at one temperature, surroundings are colder, and we are trying to uh, 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 hold that temperature gradient. We don't want the body temperature to uh, uh, change. Um, if you get a home heating bill from natural gas and you look at what you're actually buying, what do you build for? You're not billed for cartons of milk. You are billed for something called therms. So uh, paying for therms, again, heating the house in the winter with natural gas. So this idea of therm has in it uh, a temperature. And what do we know about temperature? Well, uh, we know a lot of things about temperature. One of the things we can look at is uh, ice. Ice exposed to a high temperature, say uh, an open flame, um, a temperature gradient, the flame is hot, the ice is cold. We know there's heat transfer. We know that there's melting. So therm has this idea about it of temperature and things driven by temperature change. Things we're trying to control about temperature differences, hot versus cold, cold versus hot. Therm, temperature, heat. So that's half of this word thermo. Dynamics. And in fact, you can study something called heat transfer. It's all just about therm, but that would only be half of thermodynamics. Dynamics. When do we think of dynamics? Well, uh, we can have an automobile, uh, a dynamometer. Uh, you put the car on it and you look at its wheels turning. We have dynamite, something that explodes. Um, we have a unit of measure uh, called uh, dynes. Uh, this idea of dynamics, dynamite, dynamometer, they all have to do with force, power, motion, pressure. Uh, that's what we mean by dynamics. We mean movement of objects. Uh, we mean forces associated with those objects. We mean pressure associated with those objects. Dynamics. Pressure can be used for a very useful purpose, for example. It can be used to Crack ice, icebreaker. Um, when uh, an ocean freezes, send the boat through it, use force, power, clear that ice. That's all pressure and force. Note the absence of any temperature interaction, just pressure and force, dynamics. Historically, motion and force have been used for many things, all the way back to uh, windmills to crush grain, uh, fast forward to steam engines to move locomotives, Fast forward to the Industrial Revolution. Fast forward to all of the great machines of the mechanical uh, uh, engineering area. Fast forward to sending a rocket to the moon. Lots and lots of useful things. More recently, uh, transistors, computers, uh, 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 all based on electricity, which in and of itself is tied back to motion. So thermo dynamics should put together temperature and force or power to do something useful. A big way to do it, for example, historically, was to take uh, coal and burn it. That gives you the temperature, a high temperature, and use that to boil water and make steam. That gives you the high pressure and then use that for all kinds of useful devices. For example, the classic locomotive. We can think of many ways to do uh, temperature into force and power, and that is thermodynamics. Uh, most recently, um, we have electricity. Electricity has been around in a common way about 100 years. So we have 
a, a hot source, which could be the burning the coal, could be burning the natural gas, which could be taking uh, the sun and putting it through parabolic reflectors and focusing it to uh, uh, make water into steam. Many, many different ways to change temperature, all of which really lead to steam. Uh, we might call that steam a working fluid. That steam can be put through. Uh, that steam can be put through um, a turbine to give motion, and that motion through a shaft can be transferred to the copper coil in the magnetic field to give uh, motion, and we know that that goes out to, uh, for example, uh, electricity, which is computers, which is battery charging, which is electric cars. Um, all of that is thermodynamics, a, a temperature change that's being put to a useful purpose, thermodynamics. Another area of thermodynamics is uh, uh, air conditioning. In that case, we're doing it the other way. We're taking uh, electricity uh, with air conditioning, and we're running everything in reverse to move, uh, so to speak, from a hot temperature to a low temperature, and that's our air conditioning. So lots of useful devices that connect temperature change, temperature interactions, thermo, with things that we're interested in, force, power, pressure, dynamics, putting the two together, thermodynamics. They can be studied separately. Thermo can be studied in a heat transfer course. Dynamics can be studied in a physics or mechanical engineering or fluid mechanics course. But thermodynamics puts the two together. Temperature, power, pressure, force, utility for human economic activity. As a discipline, let us remember that thermodynamics is always observationally driven. Uh, in the first part of the 1800s, the French and uh, the British were trying to understand uh, the interplays among coal, steam, engines, leading into the Industrial Revolution. Uh, in the 18, second part of the 1800s, the Germans and the Americans got involved. Um, started to also think about how chemistry, biology were connected into uh, heat interactions, work interactions, um, and thus began the formal discipline of thermodynamics, which figures strongly in what is today mechanical engineering for uh, engines, automobiles, power production, and also chemical thermodynamics, which figures strongly into chemistry, biology, and many other disciplines uh, as we will learn to put on our, uh, what I like to call my thermodynamic x-ray glasses, you will see thermodynamics everywhere, all around you, from the micro to the human size to the universe. One way thermodynamics can intersect your life in a bad way is uh, if you have a, a house in an area where temperatures can go below freezing. Um, in that case, there's a uh, temperature below freezing, um, temperature driven, which then leads to water in the home pipes uh, freezing. When water changes from the liquid phase to the solid phase, it expands. And when it expands, it cracks the pipes. Uh, so freezing water pipes. But it is an example, that unfortunate example is an example of thermodynamics. A temperature driven change leads to pressure and force that leads to the cracked pipes, thermodynamics. Think about the human body as a thermodynamic machine. What does it do? We take in a food source, a carbohydrate, for example, a grain, a bread, a cereal, a candy bar. Uh, we take them in, they're all at room temperature. And from that, uh, we have some type of temperature interaction because our body, uh, it gets hotter, right? The temperature of the body is warmer than the temperature of surroundings, so there's a temperature involvement. And at the same time, we do things. We move arms, we move mouths, we fire neurons in the brain. Um, we're having some type of, uh, of mechanical or, or some type of work interaction. So the human body is a wonderful thermodynamic machine. Temperature, movement, force, pressure, it's all there for the human body. So in review, thermodynamics. Thermo has temperature. Temperature is going to be an important part of thermodynamics, T for temperature. Um, dynamics, dynamics has force, pressure. Uh, they're going to be important in thermodynamics, pressure. We're going to see a lot of thermodynamics is about temperature gradients, hot to cold, turning into uh, pressure gradients to do useful activities, or vice versa, something on the dynamic side, uh, leading to or forcing uh, a desirable temperature change uh, like air conditioning, thermodynamics, temperature and power.
force, pressure, and doing useful things with it. Akabu.